Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to announce that we just hit 16 subscribers. I'm really happy for that. For this week's video, well, this week's, this video, I am going to do one of my favorite shows. As you can see, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls was a two series, well, two season series. I can't English well now. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and make a Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher, you're going to need one round, white. I'm going to say two yellow, then three 160 blacks. So first we're just going to make the body. We're not going to go with 3D, like the real life version Bill Cipher. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow that up until maybe about four or five inches are on the end there. Again, please mind the squeaking. It is still really hot here. Still in the 90s. So I'm just going to start off with a single bubble. Lock in the nozzle. And then this is going to be one of our bases. We're going to have one for the hat. One for each of the arms, one for the tie, and then one for the and like the leg spots. So right now we're just going to work on the head. So we're just going to make a triangle for now by using ear twists and two inch uh, single bubbles. on these balloons. I just ordered these uh, yellow balloons and I guess because of the heat it kind of melted a lot of the powder off. So it might make things a little bit difficult. So here we're going to have our hat attached here. We're going to put the eye in the middle and then these two are going to be where we're going to extend the arms out. So now we're just going to finish the bottom. It's okay if you run out of yellow here because that's where we're going to attach our second yellow. This one is a little bit bigger. I made it about two and a half, just so the head section is smaller. And then the second yellow is going to come out here and connect to this one here. And it's still hot. This one I made it a little bit smaller. This is going to be about maybe five and a half inch tail on here because we're just going to use it to connect the other yellow, connect our first yellow balloon to this one and then fill in the body so it doesn't look so hollow. All right, so now it kind of looks like a church. So we're going to connect our extra yellow down here the, from our first balloon, the balloon end here into our ear twist here. So it creates more of a pyramid shape. We're just going to use our new yellow to go once around the body, fill it in. And it's also for better structural support. See now that the, t the uh, top triangle here won't fall over. Go ahead and roll those in, or you can leave them sideways. I usually like to roll them in so they have it fills it up a little bit better. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and put his hat on. Bill does have a top hat, so.
Using our 160, we're going to leave about 5 inch tail. Now we're going to work around our top knot on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide it in half. Well, not in half. Basically do a 2 inch bubble and then bring it back into the nozzle. This is what's going to go around our, your twist here. Like so. We're going to do a, one, a half an inch bubble and then bring our rest of our black up to the ear twist. Now we can go ahead and make the hat. So about one and a half inch. Actually, let's make it a little bit taller. Two inch bubble. Ear twist. One inch. Well, one and a half. Ear twist. And then come back down to our original ear twist here. Wrap it around and then connect it back to the other end of our original two bubbles. So there's going to be one bubble here and then one bubble here. And then go ahead and wrap the nozzle around the base of it. Now what you can do is you can take another black and just go around where our ear twists are to fill in the hat. But for now I'm just going to leave it like that. Next, we're going to put in our eye, so taking our little round white. We're going to try to keep it as much, well, not too big, but then again, not too small. So maybe about where your hand is, make sure there's like a little quarter inch left of the balloon sticking out. So I'm just going to place that in to the middle of our small triangle and then pull the nozzle through these two that are in the base and then connect it to either one of these ear twists or you can have it, a, actually you can connect it to the top ear twist because then it will be center. To be honest, this is my first time ever making one of these. I just kind of was reading my book and thought, hey, this would make a really neat balloon. And that's how I am. It just pops in my head. So now he's got his eye in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and make his arms. Using another 160 black. Gonna go ahead and leave, say, if I can hold it, hold it, about a four inch tail. I'm just gonna make a hand. So it's gonna be nozzle for a thumb. And we're gonna do two fingers. One, two, so they're gonna be one and a half inch. Like so, so I got the thumb and the fingers. I'm going to ear twist it so that it doesn't come undone. So then that would be a hand. Now, Bill doesn't have quite a, an elbow, so we're just going to bend it. Like so. Apply pressure like we did before. And so it bends up. I'm going to say maybe a three inch bubble here for his first hand. Connect it to our ear twist here on the side. Like so. Now using this, we're actually going to be making a bow across the middle. So to make a bow, you're just going to 
give it a little squeeze. Come down about an inch. Ear twist. And after I do an ear twist, I like to roll it underneath so it locks. And then another one inch bubble. And then pull it to the other side. Ear twist. Therefore, it knocks out any extra black that might be in the middle that you don't have to hide, and the bow at the same time. So we'll come around to our ear twist. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other arm, but in reverse. So bend, two fingers. And here, since we have the secondary yellow on the inside, we can just roll, roll it so that there's two bubbles here. So we can put the bow in the middle. Like so. So he's got the bow. And finally, we gotta do the legs. This one, we're actually going to hide the black. So we don't have to waste two black balloons on it. Alright, we're going to blow this one up to about 3 inches on the end. Do our generic feet, because he really doesn't have too much feet besides little nubs. So, ear twist, loop twist, like the nozzle. Give him his trademark bend. He always has his legs bent. So it's like that. I'm going to again leave about three inches. Connect it up. Go ahead and just bring your black balloon across the way. His feet are facing downward. Uh, hold his arms up sideways. So, therefore, we have basic body. Now we just do the eye, which is a slit. You can do this with yellow balloons too for the eye, but it would kind of get blended in. So there, we have Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. So I got guys there. I English me. I can't English well. I gotta get myself a dictionary. All right, so guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for the the, the 16 subscribers. I'm really happy that happened. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful evening. My next video, I'm going to have a very special announcement if you live over in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, or in Wildwood. So guys, have a wonderful evening. Try to stay cool. It's like 100 degrees here, so. Goodbye, have a wonderful time. Where's my mouse? There it is. Wait, wait. Norton? No, 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 Norton. Okay, bye.